Welcome to my lonely studio. That's right. This is all I have. I have two blankets hung up here that's blocking the reflections, especially going into the kitchen in that area. Honest to God, this kind of treatment is barely doing anything at this rate. It's stopping minor reflections. The great thing about this mic is that it is a dynamic microphone, meaning that it's Polaroid pattern, it captures directly right in front of it. So you can pretty much throw this bad boy almost anywhere and get a very direct sound. Unlike, say like a condenser mic, this is a Audio-Technica 4050, and it's a great microphone, but I'm pretty sure the capsule, which if you can see through the reflection right there, I'm pretty sure the capsule is blown out because I'm getting a really sharp and harsh sound from this mic, and uh, sometimes this happens with these kind of microphones. Hi everyone. So when I started the video, it was seven in the morning, now we're a couple of hours later, it's now 12 in the afternoon, 12.05 to be exact, like 12, yeah, 12.04. It's just so hard sometimes to keep the motivation and inspiration going with a consistent level of energy while you're working on a song. Like, I find myself going out to eat so much just to get out of the house and break up the monotony of sitting here for eight hours a day. People think that working from home is all glamorous. It's probably one of the hardest things you could possibly do in one of the most restless environments. Here's some of the titles I got uh, that I kind of like for the album. I mean, this is so preliminary. Like, I kind of like this title a lot, Revival of the 90s. The vibe I'm into right now and so far what each song is kind of encapsulated. Let me play you guys something I've been working on. Right now the song is just called Ice Cube Joint. So this isn't this isn't the final recording of the verse. As I write, I uh, record the verse as I go so that I can get the flow locked in and have it memorized. So when I go for the for the lead final take, it's as polished as it could possibly be. Give me that beat so ride with that fly whip snap a thing nose combined with Poseidon from the past and just see riding. Yeah, like, especially that end of the flow right there, that sort of like, that that embodies, right, like what, what the old school hip hop did. The OGs and the flow on a dope beat. The da 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 that most people don't know me. It's so cool. I love the fact that I'm able to experiment with this technically outdated flow. This was a very standard flow and presence in the late to early 90s they had this sort of cadence to it and they did a lot of lines like that very similar to the way that like the like sort of the hot cadence in hip-hop today is the da 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 rap it and trap it and crap it doing a thing and i'm napping everybody here they think they're gonna run in their mouth and yo they just yap it to be able to sort of be a student of the old school hip hop and go back and get to experiment with cadences and flows in an era that I was <laughs> like an infant in when this was going on. And that's what I'm mostly excited about. Because at the end of the day, I'm just a dude that loves the history of this genre. And I just want to pay as much respect as I possibly can to it. In the same ways, you know, people study Picasso and try their hand at uh, a Picasso style painting um, in today's modern era. This is what I'm doing, except with hip hop from the early 90s era. I also want to say, guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all of your support and kind words. Just going through the comments section of the latest 
Patreon announcement video has been so overwhelmingly positive and is unbelievable. I promised myself I wouldn't read the comments anymore, but they're just so positive, I can't believe it. But anyways, thank you so much for taking the time out and supporting me for the either $5 and $10 perk. I want you guys to know that these updates are gonna come frequently, at least once a month. Anytime that I'm grinding something out, I wanna be able to talk to you guys personally and just say thank you, thank you, thank you, and just keep you updated on what's going on. Um, they may get tiring. You may get sick of these because I'm just gonna be vlogging out of my room. And I love the fact that I'm vlogging to a people who are like, invested like you guys cared so much that you went created a patreon account just to donate and support me during this thing and the least i could do is say thank you to each and every single one of you and to keep you updated and because it means the world to me there's no way i could there's there's really no way that i could do this unless i had your help and um yeah anyways guys i hope you have a great week i'm gonna keep grinding out this song maybe i can knock it out um this week uh to knock out a song and to knock out like one song a week would be balling and this <laughs> this thing could be here in no time so thank you so much for your support and uh catch you on the next video peace